Hello everyone, welcome to this part 4 video for Form 3 Mathematics Chapter 6 Angles and Tangents of Circles So there are two parts in this video, the first is to solve problems involving angles in circles and the second part is about cyclic quadrilateral So we look at the first part now So this diagram shows a circle, so the red circle here with a center or and a diameter PR uh, So PR is a diameter Find the values of X Find the values of X Notice that X is one of the angles in the triangle UTS here, which, which is outside the circle. So we need to first find the angles UST. In order to find this angle here, UST, we need to find this angle. And to get this angle, we need to use all the information we have here. Okay, so now we look at the diagrams here. The first thing we need to look at is this uh, yellow colored triangle. We try to fill in the values of these angles. Okay, so first we find Q, Q, R, P. We try to find these angles here. And since P, Q, R is an angle subtended at the circumference of the circle by the diameter, because P, R given is the diameter, hence we know that this is 90 degrees. So if we want to find this angle, we take the total interior angle of a triangle, 180 minus 30, minus 90 here right? 180 minus 90 minus 30 which is 60 so now we know that this is 60 next we look at the lines colored orange okay you can see that PO and SO are subtended by the arc now you see that the angle POS the 45 degrees is subtended by the arc PS PS and you can see that this angle is also subtended by the same arc PS Okay, then this angle is uh, sub, uh, formed from this line PR and RS is subtended at the circumference of the circle subtended by the arc PS. So what, how can we relate 45 degrees here to this? 45 degrees is the angles at the center. So we know that this angle here is half of this angle based on the properties of angles and the, at the center. Okay, so this is half of 45. So half of 45 means PRS, the PRS, this angle here is half of 45, which is 22.5. So now since we know this is 22.5, this here is also 22.5, okay? So we have 22.5, 22.5, and USRTSO is two straight line, one straight line, two straight line. As we know that this angle and this angle, they are vertically opposite angles, which we learned in form 1. Vertically opposite angles, hence this angle here also has the same value as 22.5, uh, UST 22.5. So since we know this is 22.5, we can find X by taking 180 minus 50 minus 22.5. So X equals to 107.5, that is the final answer. Of course, there are other ways to find the angles here. Like for example, this one, if we know this is 45, we can find this angle. And since this and this line are radius, this is an isosceles triangle. Hence, you can find these two angles, which is the base angle of an isosceles triangle. So this is just one of the many examples of solving problems using all the properties. In the coming videos, we have more examples for solving problems involving uh, circles. And now we are going to look at the next mathematical concept that you need to know, which is cyclic quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals are polygons formed by four sides, four straight lines. Like for example, this is a rectangle. A rectangle is one of the quadrilaterals. And cyclic quadrilaterals are quadrilaterals here, this polygon with the four sides, where the four vertices, this is one vertices, two, three, and four, all the four vertices touches a circle. So if four vertices all touches the circle, this rectangle here, this quadrilateral here, is, is known as a cyclic quadrilateral. So the definition, so a cyclic quadrilateral is a quadrilateral in a circle, inside a circle, where all four vertices here lies on the circumference. Yeah, The vertices is at the circumference. So if now we label all the four vertices PQRS, Okay, then this angle here will be angle P and the opposite angles P, the opposite here, this P, the opposite will be here, A and R. This pair of angles, we name this as 
opposite angles. And of course, Q and S, Q opposite of Q is S. This pair of angles, we name this opposite angles. So first we have example one. You see, we have one, two, three, four, four sides, a polygon with four sides. This is a cyclic quadrilateral and all four vertices are at the circumference. Hence, this we call this as a cyclic quadrilateral. Then we have this, we have four sided polygon where all the vertices touches or are at the circumference. So this is also a cyclic quadrilateral. How about this? The one of the vertices here touches the center but does not touch us the uh, circumference. So this is not a cyclic quadrilateral. Next, how about this? One of the vertices here touches the center, one of the vertices is outside the circle. It is not it is not on the circumference, hence this is not a cyclic quadrilateral. So now with the example 5 here, you need to identify the cyclic quadrilateral found in a given circle. So how many cyclic quadri quadrilateral can you find? So the first cyclic quadrilateral is PQRU. Okay, PQRU. And now you state the opposite angles in each cyclic quadrilateral you find. So, so in this first uh, PQRU cyclic quadrilateral, the opposite angles is this angle and this angle. And so this angle is QPU, angle QPU, and angle QRU. These two is a pair of opposite angles. And this, the second pair is this, this angle here and this angle here. So this angle here will be PQR. This angle here will be PUR. Okay, so the answer is this. Then the second quadri uh, cyclic quadrilateral you can find here is RSTU. RSTU. Okay, here. So for this case, this angle and this angle will be a pair of opposite angles. So this angle is URS. This angle is STU. Okay, URS, STU. Then the second pair will be RST, RST. This angle and the opposite of this is this, which is T U R. Okay, they are a pair of opposite angles. Now we look at another properties of a cyclic quadrilateral. When we measure the angles here, we will find that the sum of the opposite interior angles in the cyclic quadrilateral is 180. Meaning that if we label this P, label this Q, R, and S, Q, P plus R angle P plus angle R equals to 180. Angle Q and angle S equals to 180, regardless of the shape. As long as it is a cyclic quadrilateral, the opposite angles, the sum of the opposite angles equals to 180. Now we try to do some exercise with this. Diagram shows a cyclic quadrilateral A, B, C, D. Calculate the value of X. Okay, so we, we know that the opposite angles, the pair of opposite angles A, angles uh, and C, when we add this up, the sum is equal to 180. To find X, we minus 180 with 105, you get 75. Then how about Y? Okay, this angle and the opposite angles, the sum of these two angles is 180. So 3Y plus 60 equals to 180. 3y equals to 180 minus 60, which is 120 divided by 3, you get 40 degrees. y equals to 40. Example 2. Diagram shows a circle with center O. Determine the values of x. There is a line here which uh, divides the angle into 2x30 and 40, 60 here. And the total of these angles plus the total of this angle is still 180. Because this is a cyclic quadrilateral. So we can ignore the lines in the middle here. Hence, this angle, the total angles here, plus this angle equals to 180. Because there are opposite angles in a quadri uh, cyclic quadrilateral. So 2x plus 30 plus 46 plus 60 equals to 180. You solve this, okay, 30 plus 46 plus 60 is 136. Move the 136 here, it's 180 minus 136. Move the 2, divide by 2, you get 22 degrees. Example 3. Diagram shows a circle with center O. Determine the values of X. From here to here, here and here, this is a cyclic, uh, 
quadrilateral. Hence, we know that this, the total angles here, plus this angle here, equals to 180 because the total angles here and this angle are uh, the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral. So, it, so first thing we need to find this. Okay, since this is a straight line, to find this, you get 180 minus 115, which is 65. Hence, it means that this is 65. So this part, this angle here, the total x plus 65 plus here, the total of the opposite angles here is 180. Hence, x plus 65 plus 65 equals to 180. You solve this, you get x equals to 50 degrees. Example 4. Diagram shows a circle with center O. Determine the values of angles A, B, C. So A is here, B is here, C is here. You want to find this angle. Okay, from here to here. Given B, C equals to C, D. They are equal. This angle and this angle, uh, this side and this side, they are the same. So first, before we look at the qua cyclic quadrilateral here, here we have uh, A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral. We look at ABD first, right, which is denoted by using the yellow lines, ABD, the triangles here. You see, ABD is an angle subtended by the diameter AD. This is the diameter because it passes through the center. Okay, Hence, ABD has the value of 90 degrees. Since we are looking for ABC, ABC, Right? So we don't need this uh, information here, we just need this because this 90 degrees plus this angle here, this plus this, is the answer we are looking for. Okay, so now we have the first part which is the 90 degrees. Now we look at the cyclic quadrilateral which is the polygon with the blue lines here. Okay? From what we have learned, we know that the opposite angles here, this C and A, C and A opposite angles, they add up to 180. So in order to find this, we take 180 minus 60 because this plus this is 180. So BCD plus 60 equals to 180. To find BCD, you take 180 minus 60, you get 120. So here we know this is 120. Since BC here and CD, they have the same values, the triangle, the green triangle here, BCD, is an isosceles triangle. To find CBD, the total angle is 180 minus 120 divided by 2. Now, because there are two base angles, divided by 2, you can find the add values of CBD. Okay, so CBD equals to 180 minus 120 divided by 2 because there are two angles here. You get 30. So CBD is 30 degrees. So 30 here, 90 here. Okay, hence ABC. So ABC is equals to 30 here plus 90 here. 30 plus 90 is 120.